Hi, this is Gordon Parker at Michigan Tech, and in this video I'm going to cover the Laplace transform property that is called the complex shift, or sometimes the frequency shift. It's probably the property that has the most interesting name. Here's how it goes. If we want to take the Laplace transform of some function f of t, but it's multiplied by e to the at, and I'll explain these signs here in just a second, f of t, like so. So what this means is that um, this is just telling us that this definition, this property explanation is going to cover both the case where we have e to the negative at or e to the positive at. So if we want to take the Laplace transform of such a function, what we do is, is we take the Laplace transform of f of t and then rep we replace every occurrence of s with s plus or minus a. So we flip the order of the sign that we had over in the time domain. So this one is pretty easy to get uh, familiar with because a lot of Laplace transform tables have this property built into them. That is, you can find lots of functions that uh, have an S plus A in them in the Laplace transform table, and that means that you can check uh, how well you can apply this property to other functions. So that was a little bit wordy, so let's just do an example. Um, let's say that we wanted to take the Laplace transform of some function g of t, which is, oh, let's say it's 5 times t, uh, and we'll throw a unit step in there. And we'll also put an e to the negative 3t. So let me rewrite that so it's a little bit more reasonable. There we go. Now this one is in most Laplace transform tables that you might stumble upon. But what we're going to do is use the complex shift property. So we look at this, we're faced with this function of time, and we see that there's an e to the negative 3t in it. So we can filter that out of our, of our thinking and just focus on taking the Laplace transform of the 5t. That would be this f of t take the Laplace transform of it, and then replace every occurrence of s with s plus 3 from that exponential function. So let's go ahead and do it. g of s, well actually, let me just start like this. I'll say the Laplace transform of 5 times t, and I'll keep the unit step in there, is equal to 5 over s squared. And now, to get g of s, I'll just replace every occurrence of s with s plus 3. Boom. It's done. And as I said, this Laplace transform you'll find in most tables, and you would indeed see that it was just um, this constant divided by s plus 3 squared. So that's it. Again, my name is Gordon Parker from Michigan Tech, and thanks for watching.